today I'm going to teach you how to crochet the perfect circle. I am using medium worsted weight yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook. You can use a hook of your choice and the yarn of your choice. Just want to make sure that you go down a hook size from what is recommended for the yarn so that there's no gaps in your work. So to start your circle, you're going to make a slip stitch insert your hook, and then chain two. So you have your two stitches right here, and you are going to insert your hook into that second V right there. So not the one right next to the hook, but that next one. You're going to insert it in there and do a single crochet. So you're going to do six single crochets into that same spot right there. So let's do five more. Okay, so once you do your six single crochets, then you can pull that circle tight right there. So something really important whenever you are crocheting your circle is your tension. And your tension basically means how tight you are doing your stitches and how tight you're pulling your yarn. And this is something that as you go along in crocheting, you'll get more and more comfortable with what tension you need to use so that the circle lays flat, uh, it doesn't curve up on the ends, or uh, it isn't too loose with holes in your work. So you'll start to figure that out, but we just want to do a medium tension here. Next, we are going to increase around in the circle, so you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, and that's that first V right there, and make sure that you insert it into the front and the back. So you are going to increase, so you do one single crochet and two single crochet into that same area. And it might be a little bit tight, that's okay. You pulled that circle tight so that you close that gap, it's okay. So you are going to increase the rest of the way around. So we're going to increase a total of six times. So five more. Now that you increased six times, you'll have 12 stitches here and you can uh, flatten that out a little bit. If it's starting to curve, then you know that you are pulling your stitches too tight. If you're starting to see gaps, then you know that you are not pulling them tight enough. So for this next part, um, I like to insert my stitch marker just to keep track of where I am. If you'd like to just count your stitches, you can do that as well. So we are going to increase one and single crochet one the whole way around. So now that you've increased one and single crocheted one the whole way around, this next part really uh, makes a difference in the way that the stitches look. Uh, so some circles will have points where you can kind of see the rows of increases um, because they're usually not staggered. Um, with this method, we are going to stagger the stitches so that it makes that perfect round circle and it doesn't have the areas where you can see the increases. So for this next round, um, this is a single crochet two and increase round, but we're going to stagger them. So you're going to start with one single crochet increase and then two single crochets increase two single crochets increase And then repeat that until you get to your last stitch.
Now that you single crocheted two and increased for the remainder of the round, that last stitch that is left, you are going to single crochet. And that is because you started out with one single crochet and then an increase. So that last single crochet makes that two and an increase the whole way around. And as you'll be able to see, as your circle gets bigger, it no longer has the drastic points where those increases are and makes it more of a round circle. So you are going to keep the odd rounds the same and the even rounds you are going to stagger. So for this next round, we are going to single crochet three, increase one the whole way around. And as you can see, your circle is becoming more and more even since you are staggering those stitches. So for the next round, it is an even round. So we are going to stagger the stitches on this round. So you are going to single crochet two and increase. And then you are going to single crochet four, increase until you get to the last two stitches. Now that you single crocheted four increased around, you have these two stitches left um, to connect it to the two that you did in the beginning. So you are just going to single crochet one and two. So as you can see, um, since you are staggering, that it is more of a round circle. So we are going to single crochet five and increase one and that'll be all the way around since that is an odd row. Now that you've finished that round, you have your perfect circle. And to finish that off, you can just do a slip stitch. I usually leave a little tail if I'm going to sew it onto something. But just like that is your perfect crochet circle. And if you want to make this circle larger, then you will continue with that sequence that we did. So it will be three single crochets increase, and then six single crochets increase, and then three at the end. And you will continue to stagger that whether the round is even or odd. So if you like this video today, uh, please consider subscribing, uh, giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to check out any of my other free patterns, uh, they are linked in my blog and let me know what kind of video you want to see next.